This is Geometry, Chapter 12, Section 7, in which we will explore spherical geometry. Now, all year in geometry, we've been dealing with plane geometry. Everything is based on flat surfaces. Okay. Now we're going to change it up a little bit. We're going to stretch your mind out and deal with spherical geometry. In spherical geometry, what we're looking at for a plane is the surface of a sphere. And so a line is just the great circle on a sphere. Remember, the great circle is the one that cuts it into two hemispheres. Okay. To help get your mind around this idea a little bit, I want you to picture Earth. We know Earth is more or less a sphere. It's not quite, but it's close enough for our purposes. Okay. If we were going to drive from one city to another, we think of that as being more or less flat. Okay. We don't really consider that we're going around the curve of the sphere. We consider things as being flat. So we consider the road in our minds as being a straight line. Well, if the road extended all the way around the Earth, it would eventually come back to where we started. It would make a great circle going around the sphere. Okay, it's a bit of an oversimplification, but it gives you a place to grasp that what we think of as a straight line, like a road, is actually part of a circle going around the whole sphere of the Earth. Right. It's a bit tricky to think about, but if you just relax and take, it, take your time through here, I think you can handle this. Now, I did not even attempt to draw the picture that's on page 889 in your book. It wasn't happening. Uh, one of these years, I may scan it and import it into here, but for now, we're just going to work with Look at the picture in your book, so if you need to pause to get your book, that'll be fine. Okay. Um, but we're going to name a couple of lines that contain point P. Okay. Point P is over toward the right-hand side of the page, you know, the, of the sphere. It's where a couple of those circles intersect. Well, one of the circles is the one that's going through Q and L. You could call it QL, you could call it QP, you could call it HP. I mean, you have a lot of options there, but that's one of the circles, the one that's going more or less horizontally. And then the other line that goes through point P circle type thing is the one going through G, R, P, K, S, and H. The one that's kind of going at a 45 degree angle it looks like. Okay, I called that one G, K, but you could call it any pair of those letters because it goes all the way around. Now Notice I use the line symbol so as to distinguish these from segments containing point Q. Okay, two segments that go through point Q. There's a segment from H to Q coming from the back of the sphere around to the front. That's a possibility. There's also a segment going from Q to P going around the front of the sphere. I could do like Q to L going over the side of the sphere and coming around onto the back side. I mean, we have all kinds of options here. And then the last piece is I want to name a triangle. Well, a triangle is made up of three segments that intersect together. So I've got one here. 
triangle HLS. It's on the back side of the sphere. Another choice could be triangle QRP. That would work. It just has to be something that you get three segments to connect together. You could not name something like MRL because those there's no segment from R to L that doesn't go through M. Okay. You can't quite get away with just throwing any three letters around. But you can throw a couple of letters at it. Okay. And that's what we're going to be asking for from you is can you name these parts? Okay. So a bit of a uh, mental stretch here taking your plane geometry ideas and turning them into a sphere. If you had questions along the way, hopefully you wrote those down. Bring them in with you and we'll see you in class.